In this video, you will learn all about pages and page parameters in a configurable workspace. And by the end, you will have a better understanding of how to create and manage pages. Before creating a page, you want to identify a purpose for the page and what content it should contain. Answer the five W's and gather some basic information to help with the planning of your page. What? What is the purpose of the page? What information do the users need to see and what devices will they use to access it? Who? Who is the audience? When? When should a user see the page? For example, if the page is the main page of the site, or is it a page that a user navigates to from another page? Where? Where should the information be placed on the page to provide an effective interface? And how? How does the page interact with other pages in the experience? Now that we have the basics of planning our pages, we'll move on to page templates. Page templates are used to create pages more quickly. And without a template, you would need to create a page completely from scratch. With templates, you can use the original template or you can copy the template contents. So when I go to create a new page and I pick a template, I get the option to use the original template, which limits my customizations, or copy the template contents, which makes it fully customizable. This is UI Builder. I thought everything was fully customizable. Why would I want to use the original template and limit myself to customization? The reason, consistency and upgradability. Pages based on an original template will have a consistent look and feel regardless of where they are used. When a page template is updated, pages based on an original template are also updated. So those updates would need to be applied manually. The copy template contents option should be used sparingly and notated when used so that you know which pages need to be manually updated. Now let's talk about parameters. Page parameters make pages dynamic and page parameters are passed in the URL of the page. For example, a page might include a parameter to specify which record to open when this page is rendered. You have two types of parameters, required and optional. Required parameters are values that are passed into the URL and are required for the page to work. They also get appended directly to the page URL. They appear in the preview and test values can be used. You can also add optional parameters for things like list titles, list views, list filters. Let's take a look at how to set up a required parameter. On my screen, you can see a travel management application that I created and I'm configuring in UI Builder. I have a request form page that's set up for managers. Let's say I want to create a required parameter for this page. I'm going to click on the page options menu and edit my required parameters. I'm going to add a required parameter for table is pretty typical. And now you can see in the URL at the top, I can test this value. I could enter a test value in here. And when I click out, I can then open this page in a test. I don't need a required parameter for this page, so I'll quickly remove it. In summary, we reviewed UI Builder pages, how to plan your page, page templates, and an overview of parameters. Thank you for joining me as we reviewed UI Builder pages.